Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's just a quick install to disconnect the ANC module on a 2021 Honda Accord. Um, once you install aftermarket subs and amp, uh, it'll make a bunch of weird noises. I was doing that with my wife when she was going to work yesterday. Uh, I just came on randomly and a bunch of hums and weird noises. Um, so you got to disconnect that once you uh, install aftermarket unit, like amp and subs and stuff. And we're still using the factory uh, stereo. You just want to pop this panel right here. Just like that. Pop this panel off. Um, you're gonna pull down right here on this guy. Let me get a screwdriver in here. Same thing on this side. Pull down. You're gonna see a screw right here. And a screw right here. Same place. You're gonna take those two screws out. Um, you're also gonna pop this guy off right here you can just do it with your hand should all just pop out like that see and then you're going to take these three screws out right here uh, so let me go ahead and take these three five screws out and i'll get back to you there you go as soon as you take those three screws and the two screws on the bottom the whole thing just comes off you don't need to empty it. You don't need to take nothing out of it. You don't need to disconnect anything on it. Just take off those three screws at the top, the two on the bottom, and then pull the glove box out. Now, this is the module right here. So what you do is you reach up, get the plug, and pull it out. That easy. Just like that, it plugs in right there like that. Okay, now with it unplugged, you can just go ahead and uh, just put it somewhere off to the side. It doesn't really matter where, somewhere where maybe it doesn't rattle. Um, like that maybe, just somewhere it doesn't rattle. And then you take your glove box assembly, the whole thing. Sorry, it's kind of hard with one hand. Lift it back up. You see how it has those little clips? Clips, clips. And it just pops back into place right here. Let me go ahead and set you guys up. Uh, like that. Let me make sure everything is right. Right there, see? There you go. Sheesh. Yeah, this is kind of hard with one hand. You gotta make sure these things are down. Once you get those things down, then you just do that. Make sure these are down. Like that. These are down, out of the way. These bottom parts right there. Make sure it's out of the way. Now you get the three uh, black screws. Like that, put them back in. You don't have to over tighten them. They weren't that tight when I took them off. And you're just dealing with plastic. There you go. These two right here go on the bottom. Like that. Same thing on this side. Now, 
pop that panel back in, pop that panel back in. Then take this trim piece that we took off, pop that back in. Like that. Sorry, take this side panel. Pop this back in. Like that. And that is it. All that literally took me five minutes to do. And it's disconnected. Everything works as it should. Doesn't look like nobody was even in here. So remember, when you install an aftermarket sub or amp, you gotta disconnect that module. Otherwise, you're gonna get all kinds of weird noises and buzzing. Like for her, the sub was coming on randomly and just a bunch of weird stuff. So until the next video, stay safe. Peace.